Day one of the seventh annual Three Rivers Classic is in the books. I'm Matt Geica with RMU Media as the Colonials fell seven to four to Brown in game two of day one up here at the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex. It was a night of firsts in a couple of different ways. Number one, it's our program's first game ever in this building. And number two, it was the first meeting ever for the Colonials against Brown. And RMU came out all guns a-blazing, going up two to nothing after one period before Brown scored four in the second and then eventually skated away with the victory. Head coach Derek Schooley for the Colonials lamented the lack of consistency, even though he praised the way his team came out for this one. You know, we were really, really good in the first period. We were outstanding, put a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm and a, and a lot of heart. Uh, they came out and took it to us, uh, kind of the reverse, and, but they scored more than we did. And uh, then uh, we just, we, we battled, we competed, we didn't quit. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we just dug ourselves too big of a hole in the second period. But uh, there were good things. We're still a young team. We still have to keep our focus for 60 minutes. And right now, we are, uh, we're a 35, 40 minute team. And if we can, we can turn it to around, you saw the, the glimpse of what we could do. I mean, we got 11 freshmen. And, uh, that was big for Granny Bear to, to get back in the score sheet. He's had uh, been hurt a little bit and been adjusting to the game, but uh, three goals for him is a uh, you know a good uh, a good start. But uh, we just need to be consistent more for 60 minutes. Not to bury the lead too much. Grant Ebear, freshman center, scored three goals for his first NCAA hat trick. He had the Colonials only two goals into the third period, and then he scored another one on a drop pass from Alex Tonge to make it 4-3 and keep things very interesting here up in Cranberry. Eber credited his line mates, including Tonge, for putting him in good spots to shoot the puck. My uh, line mates were excellent tonight. They put the puck in the stick pretty easy. I kind of tapped it in, so it wasn't hard. But uh, yeah, my team, my um, uh, line mates, uh, Perky and uh, Tonge, passing the puck there and made it easy for me. Well, RMU won't win the Three Rivers Classic this time around, but they have a reputation, certainly, in college hockey for taking home the Confluence Cup. They've done it three times in the six previous tournaments, and Brown coach Brendan Wittett said that was in his Bears' minds as they took the ice tonight. It may not have been great from the start, but they did push back in the second. We were not anywhere close to what we need to be um, in terms of what we want with Brown hockey um, in that first period, but uh, I thought as the game went on, so more and more of that. We just, uh, with a young team, there's, there's some consistency issues um, that you'll have. Um, we had a good week of practice. I thought the guys were ready. And uh, again, I tribute to Ron Morris. I thought they jumped us pretty good early. And I knew they had energy. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's their, their tournament and, and um, in conjunction with the Penguins. And, um, you know, I know they, they've won a lot of these championships and they've played a lot of championship games. So it was not going to be easy. Um, to get by them in that, in that realm. If you're into bright sides beyond the individual accolades of Grant E. Bear, the Colonials get a great chance to prove their medal tomorrow night. It'll be a five o'clock face-off against the number one team in the nation, the St. Cloud State Huskies. The Huskies are gonna be ticked after losing seven to two to number 14 Union in the first game here today. But for RMU, it's their first chance to play a number one ranked team in eight years. We hope to see you down there. It's at PPG Paints Arena as the venue shifts in this tournament for Saturday. One last time from Cranberry, this is Matt Geico.